Hello everyone. So this is kind of spontaneous and unexpected, but I have a fountain pen to review here. This is a fountain pen I know absolutely nothing about. And that is because my friend Andrew, who has a YouTube channel called Pen Friends, I'll post a link down below to that, uh, to his channel. And he bought this pen from a retailer here in the United States. He lives in the UK and had it sent to me and then I will be sending it to him. Um, but in the meantime, it's taking a little pit stop because he said that I could open it up and do a little review if I wanted to, which is super exciting. We had talked about doing this so long ago and I'm excited that it's actually starting to to come about and hopefully there will be there will be more like this in the future. So this is a fountain pen by the company Mayora. I believe it's Italian actually. If we just look at this box here that's exactly what it says. Handmade in Italy. This is a really cool box. It's foam and plexiglass on the bottom and on the top um, and I don't want to flip it too much because I don't yeah, the fountain pen does stay in there, but I'm a little worried that it would loosen up and like scratch against the plastic. There is some bubble wrap that got wedged in between these two pieces here. This is where the pen came from. Atlas Stationers. I've actually never purchased anything from them, so I will have to check them out now. All right, so we just open this little box by removing the elastic. And here we go. Here's the pen. So I've never experienced an Italian pen before. I've never owned one. I've never written with one. I'm trying to get all this little like bubble wrap pieces off. <laughs> um, and this, this, so I don't know much about Italian pens uh, other than what I know through Andrew actually because he has a lot of Italian pens now at this point. And this one does seem markedly Italian to me. I don't know, there's a certain look that I perceive Italian pens to have. The thing that is super cool about this one in particular is that it's zero, 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 zero. This is the very first one made in this production. And I'm not really sure. I think this is actually sterling silver. It's stamped right there by maybe, maybe that's an artist stamp, which is kind of cool. This is a huge pen. <laughs> it's got some, some big time heft and it's just a substantial, it's a big pen. I wouldn't post it. Um, I'm not even gonna try cause I feel like it's not, it's not my pen to try. Andrew will do a very thorough review of this pen if you wanna see more. Uh, of course it has to make it to him first. Um, but I'm sure he'll he'll show what it looks like to post, but what's well, plenty big for my hand? The nib is also a very large bit nib. This is a fine. I believe it is a steel nib and This is a cartridge converter and the cartridge converter looks Like it holds a lot of ink But also I guess this is the whole piston knob So maybe it's deceiving and how much ink it actually can hold. But this one screws in and out of the pen itself, so it's not just like a push and pull. I actually have opened this pen up already because um, <laughs> I wanted to send a little box opening video to Andrew, and and so that's, that's the only reason why I know this is, and it's been flushed out, um, why this is a screw, a screw. So I guess, the only downside I see of having this sort of attachment point for the piston is that some people don't actually like submerging the feed into their ink bottles. Some people like to keep that really clean and so they just put the, the cartridge converter in the ink bottle directly. But with this one you probably want to do that just so you don't make a mess, although I'm sure the ink wouldn't be spilling out everywhere. So, I don't know why I chose this ink. It's um, a Mont Blanc ink. It's one of the Legends of the Zodiac. It's a bright red, super, super red ink. And I didn't like 
think it would be particularly fitting for this pen. In fact, I should have grabbed like Noodler's Apache Sunset, uh, but I don't know. I haven't used this ink in a while. I like it. It's a bit too bright for like everyday use, at least for me. So it, I just wanted an opportunity, an excuse to use it again. So here we go. that color it's like blood in a syringe <laughs> so beautiful I do really like how substantial this pen is it feels very solid and hefty and that's quite nice so let us do some writing samples. But this is the Mayora. Oops. Mayora. We have a steel fine nib. It's very stiff, but it seems to be very well tuned. <laughs> wow, I've been writing that for so many years now and I blanked on how to spell planes. So let's see. It puts down a nice fine line, that's for sure. And this is a wetter ink, so it's hard to say whether this is a wetter nib or feed, but it does give me the impression that it is. It doesn't feel dry like a sailor necessarily. Um, there's some feedback, as you can hear. It's very stiff, but it's a really nicely tuned nib. Like this is a very solid writer. I would enjoy writing with this pen, and it's actually very comfortable to hold, even though it's so large. And I do like a heftier pen. I like the weight. It doesn't have to be a big pen, but I like a weighty pen, um, not something super light. So this is a really nice weight. fun. I like it. I think it's a good pen. I do really like this detail here and I appreciate the little stamps right there. And I think it's super cool that this is the first one in production. So thank you all for watching and thank you Andrew from Pen Friends for letting me take a look at this pen before you do. <laughs> I appreciate that and hopefully we'll be able to do more, more things like this in the future. Take care, everyone. Happy writing.